When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Pamela wrote to us, hey, Ben and Kelly, would love your take on this. Mm. My sister-in-law has created Facebook personalities for her two dogs and her cat. All right. Her animals repeatedly friend request my son and my daughter who are in their late teens. That's impressive because they don't have opposable thumbs. So exactly. Well done. My kids don't want to friend their aunt's pets because when they have in the past, she floods their walls with unintelligible animal speak posts about embarrassing childhood moments. Mm. My sister-in-law becomes upset when they won't accept her friend requests and sends them several unhappy animal speak messages a day. Oh, wow. My husband thinks our kids should humor his sister, but given her odd behavior, I don't blame him for not wanting to accept her pet's friend requests. I even feel the need to intervene on their behalf and explain to my sister-in-law that she's alienating her niece and her nephew. So what do you guys think? (laughs) No. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I have an Instagram page for my son, Fred. But is Fred incessantly, like, sending Fred-like messages to people and making posts and demanding that everybody give him a follow? I mean, no. Um, in fact, he is not very great on actually keeping up with his social media following. Uh, his say, last. How many followers does he have? Uh, he has 77. Oh, that's impressive. And his last post was four days ago. Oh, well, see, that's not bad. But the, the, the post before that was April 30th. Okay, so, that's, that so, is not going to build your no. following. Yeah, then the you post before that was content. January 5th. So it's yeah. like, you know, about every four to five months, Fred okay. will post. Maybe it just takes him that long to, to find the perfect photo. And, you know, he's got pause and stuff right. like that, so he can't really... Sure. Uh, uh, work the phone like he should. But. And he's probably busy outliving his life. You know, <clears throat> sometimes you just forget to post. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you mute him? Like, can you? Oh, is that uh, is that something you can do? Like, can, meaning, is it something where you... I, I mean, I granted, it's not just a random person that is messaging you. It is literally your aunt. It is your your sister in law. Yeah. It is that person that you're going to see more than just uh, on occasion. I mean, it's well, probably and she's monitoring it and she's noticing if you're not like responding or interacting. And so, yeah, she's. So Pamela is thinking, okay, do I need to confront her like, hey, back off a little bit? Yeah, and how do I do that? Yeah, yeah. I get that. All right. Because um, you don't want to rock the boat. All right. Well, let us know Let us know if, one, if you have a page for your pet and mm, – How often do you post? <laughs> because do you have maybe – family my, interact? Maybe my son Fred and your, your animal can be <laughs> – can be social media buddies. Um, no, but I. Are yeah. you posting as Fred though? Like, are you are you saying like Fred is talking through the page? Um, it's not animal speak though. Okay, um, but you're just you kind of created a persona for him though, and he's. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. It is kind of written in first person. Okay. Okay. Well, I feel like you have to. Yeah. If you are going to the effort to create a page for the pet. <laughs> These are such dumb photos. <laughs> you post as if you're the pet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's Freddie the Fatty Caddy if you are <laughs> if you are interested in Instagram and just seeing some of the posts. But the latest post was a nineteen eighty nine meme, so there's, oh, well, you know, very he, on trend. Fred is very on brand yeah. and on trend yeah. with the trends. Absolutely. He and his brother. So anyways, uh, would love to hear your take on Pamela's situation because honestly, I'm not, I, I don't know how to approach it because it, there's, to me, there's going to be an uncomfortable conversation between exactly. Pamela and her sister-in-law. Yeah. I mean, she can go through her husband, a.k.a. Pa- the sister in law's brother. I think that's what like brother needs but to brother, get on board with. I was gonna say brother's to say not something. on board. I know he's not on board with that, but he needs to get on board because that's his family. At least maybe kind of come from the 
a perspective of hey, they're teenagers. You know, it's kind of like you know we're embarrassing parents, and it's kind of you know the same kind of thing. So Maybe just don't don't be offended if they're not interacting. Right. Uh, all right. You could say that. Um, what are your stories about something like this in your life? Would love to hear. And, and if, we need your, if you have a page for your <laughs> pet, we want to know the yeah, handle. Yeah, we want to know that, too. <laughs> Give them a follow. All right, so 502-795-1997, that is our number. Page, right? Yeah, I think so. But doesn't, but do they, are they notified that they've been blocked? No, I don't think so. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because when you block someone, I, well, on They're most social it, media, on most social media, other than Twitter, Twitter's the only one that you can, I think, tell that you've been blocked. Exactly. Like but, people know when they've been blocked on Twitter, but not on Facebook or Instagram. Right. Most of the time, there's a, uh, there's a uh, sentence that says, you know, block this person. This person will not be notified that they are blocked or whatever. Okay. Yeah. So that, right, may, that, that, that could be the way to do it. That may be the way to do it for sure. Now, um, we also have people wanting to follow your cat, Fred, on Instagram because we also said, hey, if you've got if you got a page for your pet, tell us about it. We want to give it a follow. Stephanie says, I got an Instagram page for my dogs. We also have an Instagram page for our baby Yoda. Oh, I, however, baby Yoda. I, I don't have them really interact with people, but I have people uh, I have followed people on their pages uh, it's at the dot brown doggies from our dogs. Yeah, and Lily at... and Romeo. I just looked at it. All right, there oh, they're go. cute dogs. And at the Adventures of Wally for Baby Yoda. Oh, Wally. <laughs> yes. Wally. I love it. I love it. All right, that's good. You know, I hey, uh, I I I still think there needs to probably be just one of those uncomfortable conversations. Just a, and you can start with it being. You know, in the joking sort of way, like, hey, all right, hey, you know, <laughs> enough, enough with the, 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 the dogs trying to follow my kids. Like, they, they don't want to follow. It, it's, it's fine, you know, and just kind of being, uh, maybe jokey about that. If she doesn't get the, if she doesn't get the point, then, you know, you might have to try to at least convince your husband, hey, you're going to have to talk to her. You're talk right. to your sister. And I think, again, you can go with the whole they're teenagers. So, you know, it's like the same thing. They don't want to be followed by their parents, Mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that. So it's kind of, you know, just embarrassing that their their dogs or cats in the family want to interact with them all the time. You know, you understand. They're teenagers. You understand, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Kind of say it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, um, by the way, yes, it's uh, Freddy the Fatty Caddy. And he's listen, you're going to these your 77 I, followers are going to grow I, immensely. After there's today. a lot of pressure. I'm going to now yeah. have to put on my daughters to create content for this. This oh, fat boy, you got to amp up your game if you're asking for followers <laughs> so seven, for sure. He has 77 followers. I mean, this, li- listen, yeah, he is on the verge of getting a Purina endorsement. So, oh, wow. Well, mean, yes. <laughs> think of the possibilities. Know, We're going right? to have to uh, amp up the game more than just once every four months. Of oh, content, yeah, I know. I know for That's sure. Fun. All right. So anyways, well, hey, good luck with that. I know it can be kind of frustrating, but um, I think probably the easiest way is you just got to have that conversation. Yeah. If she's not getting like the passive aggressive aggressive hints you've been throwing down, then just kind of say, you know, blame it on the fact they're teenagers. And yeah, you know, you know, how yeah, throw your kids are. under the bus. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah. Do that. They're teenagers. <laughs> throw them under the bus. understand that. All right. Thank you. Keep us posted.